now okay connecting to the live video all right so we are going live right okay. you face we have Facebook up and all of that uh, let me see So it's not a winner. Okay. He said, I am number one. Two is not a winner. Three is not a winner. Okay, so we are going live now. We are going live. We are going live. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So we're live. I get that. Don't judge me. Just a he little bit. We are out here. Yeah. Just a little Let's bit. Watch my video. Okay. Let me get that. Uh, okay. And we are here. Let me share this bad boy. More options. Uh, I'm gonna share it to a page. Well, share it. I'm getting that out there. Uh, share. And. I thought I told you that we're gonna stop. Thought I told you that we don't. Three weeks in a row, man. This man Brian don't play no games. He said I'm here. What up? Oh, I'm echoing. Oh, Trav, are you listening to the? Oh shit. Uh, are you listening? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let me set up. Hold on. This dude. One sec. Sorry about that, guys. Um. Uh, so do I sound, sound, sound like, like, like I know, no, no, what I'm doing, doing, doing. Give me a hot second. Everybody make sure to like, love it, and subscribe and all that other fun business and jazz. Let me see. Um, let me share now. Public. And then... Um, let me share and the stories and then let me share let me share on Twitter on the Twitters this podcast in let's talk in yeah okay Jones can, can you hear me now? Eat. B? Yeah, I can hear you. All right. I, good. I can there, hear you. There should be no more you. echo then. He said. Okay. I'm here for entertainment purposes. Hey, much love, man. All right, all good. At first, you sounded like dead Mufasa. He's, Who, me? Father. All right. Father. We are ready. Like that. All right. So we are all good. Let me get this over here, and so maybe it'll help me. Yeah. To look do at the, the sharing. So you shared everything. Weird. And I did. I shared it a few times. If everybody can go ahead and share this out, I really appreciate it. Um, and um, let me see. Can you hear me, bro? Oh, Trav, I'm just letting you know your camera went out. Well, folks, I'll start talking. So, this is the utter beginning of the Adventures of the Black Nerds. I am Baron J67. And the red T with the white outline black J, that is Senor XT Jones. Uh, we are on episode 70, right? Not sure. I think... We're back. We're back. Uh, uh, we got audio. Are we going to get visual? There we go. We got visual. That's what I'm talking about. So, folks, we are the – this is the Adventures of the Black Nerds. Now, for those who don't know, because we always talk like you guys just automatically know what we do and who we are. Um, we are a podcast about two young working towards the elderly black men out here living the nerd life. Now, um, let you tell it. I'm already well, old. Right. So <laughs> some people, some people nerd out over cars. Some people nerd out over Pokemon cards. Cards, not cars. Po well, there's probably Pokemon cards out there too. Some people nerd out over video games, comic books, manga, anime, 
uh, tools, whatever, whatever you nerd out on. That's that's what this is about. And we just so happen to nerd out on a variety of things. Like I know for me, I love anime, video games, RPG video games at that. If it's got random rolls and stat boost and mm-hmm. uh, and dungeon crawl or uh, uh, farming. And not even in the sense of farming and fishing. food, but actual like level grinding. I'm there. Um, and that's what this is all about. We're just here to celebrate that and just talk crap about it and just let people know what we're doing. And it's funny because when we first started this, um, I don't, did we have kids when we first started this? We did. I, I, when we okay, first started, so, you, you had one, I had one. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, and it's funny because we always talked about this for years. Like, we always talked about doing this. Back in high school. I feel like we've been doing this long enough that it's time for a refer. Yeah, back in high school. Mm -hmm. We would sit up, we'd be having dope conversations, and at the end of it, we'd be like, damn, we should have recorded it. And that's how we led to this. Now we're actually recording it. Now Mm -hmm. we don't know what to say. (laughs) Um, (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, it. But, folks, I am Baron. Right? Okay. You're Baron J67. Oh, I'm Baron. Yeah, I'm Baron J67. Yeah, yeah that's, that's I'm it. T Jones. No, no extra shit. Silent assassin. <laughs> assassin. I, slowly and surely, I'm gonna come around to that. But don't just call me right? T Jones. But uh, yeah, no, you're right. So it's gonna we, be his fault. I, I specifically remember a conversation we had back in uh, when we used to go to Fresh and Easy all the time, and it was literally. On actually no, it was two things. I remember the conversation we had right after you got wrecked uh, on the first uh, call it or b- the first Black Ops, and I remember Ooh. you raging about that. And we sat there, and you sat there for about a good twenty minutes talking about how that was impossible, how it shouldn't have happened, what is going on. And um, it was that was one of the moments where I was like, man, we I, sh- I wish I was re- recording that because it was a dope conversation. Even though you were super ragey about it, it was a cr- it was a crazy conversation. And then the, the it, second, it, oh, go ahead. No, I was gonna say it really kills me because I'm not a sweaty like gamer. Mm-hmm. Like I'm not. And for those who don't know, sweaty means really try hard. There's not I. I really can't think of a game that I would say, oh, I sweat. Like, I'm out there. I'm trying to win. I'm trying to be the absolute best. You should try it. And no, nah, because I'm good because I like to enjoy things. <laughs> I, I don't I don't want to have to hate anybody. Like, And it would bother me. Like, I couldn't imagine playing. Like, okay, when I'm running Battlefield and we're playing Conquest and me and my squad are really taking bases and whatnot, but then all of a sudden – the rest of the team is sitting in the one sniper position and they all sniping each other back and forth mm-hmm. and nobody else taking any maps. And I, I'm already kind of frustrated. So I couldn't imagine truly caring about like my KD and win ratio and di- like that. I, w- I, I can't, I wonder if I would actually enjoy ranked battlefield matches better. I, I see once again, if I just had a group of people who had that, that mindset like that, I'm super try hard. I am, I'm the one, like, I want to win, like, I'm going to do everything it, it's going to take to win, um, you know, I want to keep my KD right, I want to keep my KD at this point, like, I am that person, but I, I can turn that on and off, so, like, if I'm playing, you know, if I'm playing with certain people, I'm not going to be the one to to claim that uh, we should all play this way, knowing that that's not how it works, you know what I'm saying, so... Yeah, I like I think of Call of Duty. When we play Call of Duty, I'm I'm trying to get 30, 40 kills. I'm trying to go. Can you you can hear me, right? Yeah. Oh okay, yeah, I got cool. you. I'm trying to get 30, 40 kills, but I'm also trying to win. Um I'm also doing any and everything possible to uh to like be to, just to be great. Be all around great. I'm not using I'm using the meta. I'm using the best gun. I'm doing everything possible to win. While while trying to maintain my KD, so I I I get that point of view. I just don't understand how some people, like how some people can throttle that line. Like, oh yeah, I want to be good. I want to be good, but I'm gonna use this gun because this is what I'm gonna use, and I want to use it. Like, no, that's not how it works. You can't use that gun, or you can't play that 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 type of style. You're not gonna like, win. Why are you Why are you rushing with mm-hmm. the DMR? Like you got twelve shots, but you're on the front line. Exactly. Like, bro, 
unless you crack a headshots each round, you're a detriment. Play mid, play back. Like, come on, man. Do you, you remember and, when detriment was in, was an actual like a description of a player per, of a player? You're a detriment. That was like advanced warfare. <laughs> bro, around advanced I used warfare. to I used to bring the team down. Mm-hmm. Like, bro, why do you keep rushing? That's they are waiting for you. <laughs> and I'm like, sir, I'm here to have a good time. Yeah. And it says I have unlimited lives, or at least until the ticker town counter go all the way down. So if I'm 20% of the deaths, you guys should be better and kill them before you kill me. <laughs> so do good, and I live longer, and I have fun, and we all do well. Bro, you would, um, you would 100% irritate me. And, and if yeah. this was, I know we talked about SOCOM last week, but if you for sure were in the SOCOM room with me doing all of that, I'd for sure put the first vote up. <laughs> like, <laughs> y'all, feel free to kick him. He, he's yeah, not, he's he got not, the first he's vote. <laughs> he, he's not with it. And, and, and you know it, it's so wild because even when I think about um, when I think about that game when I well we already had a full talk about SOCOM mm. but um, even though I consider myself the RPG gamer um, I've actually put a lot of time into first person shooters mm-hmm. I and what I learned was first person shooters for me was a dope way to come in was a dope way to um, clear my mind yeah and. And um, one second, one second. No, you're good. Yeah. Are you back now? Good night. Yeah, I'm back. My bad, guys. So, um, so, (laughs) my bad. Full time dad. That that Mm. that never ends. But um, I I love first person shooters because it's a great mind melt. Mm -hmm. Just get in there. Turn my head, turn my brain off, and just zone out, play for a couple hours, and it's no heavy thought. I'm not sitting here worried about am I maxing, minning, am I unlocking everything, am I doing this, am I doing that, and it just I didn't realize how much of that I I play. Mm-hmm. Like even now, I've been on this kick of actually beating video games because y'all, there was this long-standing rumor that Silent Assassin started that rumor. Baron J67 don't beat games. <laughs> that was not a It damn, was a rumor. Bro, 20, 2021 so... hit and you start beating games. <laughs> Look, 2021 I, I just was 17 about. days ago. <laughs> bro, I've com- I've been completing games for as long as I can remember. Mm-hmm. So this, you know, this guy had to prove him absolutely wrong. So what I've been doing is uh, just double time, I've kicked it up a notch. Yeah. And I've been absolutely destroying games. And um, so I'm working on my third game, fourth game for 2021. And um, I had to take a break and I installed, call, re, uh, or did the update for Call of Duty. And I'm getting ready to run that because that's oh. going to happen. It's going to be some duty time. Back, back yeah, I, I need, I need a. I, the duty. Back on the um, duty. Yeah. I just wish Black Ops, right? I just wish the new Black uh, Cold War had more weapons. I feel like they're really missing out. Yeah, like, they, I, I feel like there should be at least like three more guns. They for each section. Activision once again. Activision. I, you know, you know what made me realize that I, I was a tryhard. I remember when mm-hmm. when SoCom or not SoCom. I remember when Xbox had the feature where you could listen to the music and play video games. And um, that was like the one of the arguments. Y'all don't got party chat. Turn your music off. Yeah, y'all yeah. y'all don't got party chat. Y'all can't listen to music and play at the same time. Well, I remember when I figured out how to do that with my iPod. Remember when we all had iPod Nanos and all of them? Well, I figured out if I, because I, I played on the 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 red, white, and yellow cables, but they they had compo- other component cables with like the blue, mm-hmm. and I got this this cord, this this special audio, audio cord that's plugged into the iPod, then it plugged into the back of the TV, and I could hear my iPod playing, and I can also hear the game playing. When I realized I couldn't do that, I cannot listen to music and play video games, uh, or play a, vid- uh, a first person shooter. I cannot do that. It throws me off, and then I start blaming the music for everything. <laughs> if I die, it was because the music was playing. There's no way he would have got that kill if the music wasn't playing. So that's what solidified for me. I am super try hardish. I I I need to win. If I'm not winning, I'm not having fun. If I'm not being competitive, I'm not having fun. 
And obviously, you've seen that. We played football together. You know all yeah. about that. So, I, oh, need, yeah. I hey. need to be competitive for it to be fun for me. Hey, that was that was always so funny to me, even when it came to football, because, like, I absolutely hated practice. Um, I, I just, for the life of me, I hated it. I thought it was the, the dumbest thing ever. Yeah. Like, I, I just, I, I hated it. <laughs> and, um, and then you talking about when practice? we get to the game, yeah, and then we get to the game and people need to get hyped up. I'm like, we just bled and sweated <laughs> and not played video games and went home and relaxed yeah. all week. And I got to hype you up to beat the shit out of this team we about to go against? Nah. Like, I need to hype you up for that? Coach, let me just go to work. Yeah. Like, I, like, let me I, clock in. That's what all this week was for. I am the same way. I don't believe in, like, getting hype, and I don't believe in none of that. Like, I'm just I, ready I to get it. Yeah. Right. I just thought that was extra. Like, yeah, y'all. Like, what time rah, is rah, it? Rah, 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 rah. I'm, bro, don't. I wouldn't even be jumping in the circle. I'd be on the outside. Like, this is <laughs> weird. Just... Like, that was always so weird to me. Like, I, I'm, not even going, hey, I'm not even going to lie to y'all. But... That has always been. Put it this way. I used to, bro, I've done all type of different jobs. I sold insurance. I did all type of business. I was good at selling insurance. Yeah. And I went through one of the uh, one of the multi-level marketing ones, mm-hmm. and I was good at it. I used to give the presentations. I got to go on trips. I was really good at it. You know I quit? Because it was too rah-rah. And that was, that was my answer. They were like, what? You're doing so well. I was like, bro, you got, can I just, like, sell the insurance? Just let home? me sell it. Like, <laughs> like. Yeah, just let me sell it. Just make me me sell it. Like, just just issue me out. If you need me to close an account for you, I'll do it. If you guys need me to to get somebody on, I'll do that. But all this extra, like, get out there, recruit. Mm. Come on, guys. We got to cheer. We got to, yeah. They they got the presentations in the bank. (laughs) Bro, that is not me. I'm not for that. Not, Not under the guise of it's my own business. So, but in saying that, rolling that back into like football and even now in the gaming, I like I'll play games the wrong way just you know because I can. And it's funny seeing how frustrated people get. Like uh, we were just talking to the homie Dallas, and I'm playing Death Stranding right now. Mm-hmm. And I'm you know Death Stranding, you're a professional delivery man during yeah. the apocalypse. Long story short, that's what you are. Um, everything about the game is how fast you can get a product to where it needs to get to how safe, uh, how damage free the product is. Um, and the route you took to get there, you you, it's like Jeff Bezos made a video game, uh, and put like the, the walking dead behind it. Yeah. And I'm playing it completely wrong because I'm the one UPS dude. You don't want to mess with. I'm out here beating the dog <laughs> crap out of people. Out here chasing. I'm dogs, working man. hard. I'm going out of my way. <laughs> Bro, I ain't got no proper weapons. All I got is this rope, and I'm walking around catching people slipping. Like, oh, you wanted to rob somebody? You thought I was over there? Well, that's where I left the package. Oh, he thought so I now was I'm behind you. <laughs> Bro, I'm beating the crap out of these dudes. You... Then I hide my motorcycle off to the side, and like just in case I mess up, I leave the important stuff there. Mm-hmm. Bro, I'm I'm telling you. you. You know what? What's interesting about you? I've always I've always found it cool to watch like certain people play video games, and because I I can go out and w- I know who to go and watch when it's super competitive. But when you want to watch somebody play a game, that's like play a game the incorrect way. Um, I literally like not not only watching you because I were even going back into a uh, Warframe. We were just talking about Warframe earlier. Instead of you actually oh, yeah. playing the game, getting the experience, you were fishing. And it's a, it's an example I'm gonna yes. always say. He was on there fishing, literally fishing. He wasn't killing nothing. He was fishing, y'all. He was he was out here I, fishing. I literally had streams an hour long, and like it would be an hour long clip of me just fishing. Yeah, and I, I, that is a fact. I got to keep repeating myself too because you wasn't fishing in real. Life. You was literally fishing in the game. You wasn't getting no experience. He, he he wasn't getting. He was just catching fish, and the sitting there, you it, it's frustrating, but it's entertaining at the same time. I'm sitting there like I'm mad. He ain't killing nothing. He ain't shooting nothing. He just got. He just went all his way to get all the material to build for that gun. He got the gun. He ain't shooting nothing with the gun. He's just sitting there. Like how I'm supposed to be? I want to question everything you're doing, but I'm also enjoying watching it. So that's why sometimes when I go onto Twitch. I start from the bottom of whatever game I'm trying yep. to watch. 
and, you know, scroll that way. And you find a lot of people who are playing the game and enjoying it the way they want to enjoy it, not the way the meta, not the meta of, meta of the game. Let me tell you. So I got a taste of my own medicine because my oh, brother's shit. been uh, my brother's been coming by to play The Last of Us too. Yeah, sucks at it. He absolutely <laughs> sucks at it, and it's the most frustrating thing on earth to watch. Like this dude was getting murdered in a scene like over and over and I was like bro can I please just have a control like, <laughs> and, and he was probably smiling too having a ball he, he was having a bad he was like man just let me play the game and I was like bro please just let me try how about this just so I can feel better let me play and then I'll kill most of them and then I'll get to the end and just die so you can do it over I just want to I just want to know I'm not crazy <laughs> yeah and he he walked out for like a, less than a minute and already killed a dog and like four other humans. Mm -hmm. And I was like, bro, I'm almost done. He was like, are you serious? And I'm like, bro, I'll just die. Fine, I'll just die. <laughs> and like, it, I just wanted to know that I was I wasn't crazy. Yeah. And so I kind of get what people are talking about, especially when it comes to games like Destiny. Even though we did pretty good, not talking about Destiny last week. Yeah. Um, but. I I will run through like as long as it's not Iron Banner or uh what's the other match where your your light matters? Um I, I'll run through with a green weapon. I keep green weapons just to piss people off. On purpose. Because I know how spiritually broken that's gotta feel to get murked by a green first off, they don't even drop green weapons anymore, do they? Like is that even Bro, a thing you can find? You gotta go buy them, you noob. <laughs> ah see? Yeah. And so, and that and, but I'm but, coming I'm, that's the example right there. See, you kill me with a green weapon, I'm gonna call you a noob. I'm not. I don't think I would yeah. take it as far as like messaging people. You know what I'm saying? Like people do that. Excuse me, but I'm, gonna I'm call shocked you a I noob. haven't gotten a message. Oh yeah. Oh, it, it's amazing when you get your first rate. Uh, you know, me message somebody. Uh, somebody yelling at you via text message. It is amazing. I have. I save them all. I got them all saved. I take pictures of them. If I post them, I black the I'll black out the person's name. But oh yeah, look, look, this is yeah, a trophy yeah. right here. This is you can put these on gaming resumes. Like, how many people have you made rage quit? Hey, listen, I five. hope all the games you beat, you put them on your gaming resume. Don't for, don't ever forget. Better write them all I down. Need to do that. Be out here biting. I need to do that. Be out here beating. Funny games. enough, actually, actually, I do have it on my resume or on my my uh, my journal. I'm like, okay, on the 11th, I uh, I beat The Last of Us 2 mm -hmm. on the 11th. Um, and now, and then I started Death Stranding on the 12th. So, yeah, we out here. So, what you got? I feel like Death Stranding is going to take me a while because it's a legit open world. This is the first. You just said you was, you like, was purposely chasing down people, beating, beating the buck. <laughs> yeah, it, it's going gonna, it's gonna to take me a minute. I think I might be on this for a while. Uh, um, Did you beat Odyssey but, yet? But I'm having a good. <laughs> bro, I haven't. Bro, I haven't even beat Origins. Okay. I haven't even beat Origins. You better pick it back. Let me up. and let me tell you about it. Let me tell you. I want actually. I, one thing I can't say for a fact is I had more fun with Origins than I did with Odyssey. Odyssey is cool, but I felt like they stripped a lot of the. The smaller elements, like the variety and weapon uh, abilities, the um, the customization, I feel like they stripped a lot of that away, mm -hmm. and they put a lot more into the whole war thing. Which the war thing is dope. I'm not don't don't get me wrong. The war thing in Odyssey is really dope. It's a dope experience. But Origins, I think overall, um, is a better Assassin's Creed, and um, there's and you know why for me it's the random shit it's the hunting, hunting. the hunting actually matters um there's there's up boards. yeah there's like i got a weapon bro i got a weapon an early drop weapon that cuz there's a lot of rng with the weapons on origins yeah um and rng random uh random rolls uh i got a i got this uh it's like a, a big giant mace a two-handed mace and uh, it has a like a twenty percent chance of knocking people to sleep. Oh. So I've been keeping that weapon on me. I just spend a bunch of money to rank it up to to where it matters still. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, I'm not getting rid of this weapon. 
Like, I haven't came across nothing that's like, oh, I gotta put that away. There's stuff that put people on fire, all type of crazy. But this weapon, I would legit be in a big fight. Like, let's say I mess up and everybody coming after me. I'm fighting a crowd and then all of a sudden people going to sleep. Yeah. Boom. Dropping. Snoring. And then it just it just makes bigger. And then even with boss battles, and I'm able to fight higher tier enemies because I can cheese them because every five hits, I'm damn near putting them to sleep. Mm-hmm. And I'm, I'm over there winning fights I'm not supposed to be winning. And that's why I really, I wish they had more of that um, RNG elements in Odyssey, and they don't. Um, and then uh, outside of the female voice actor, the dude voice actor on um, Odyssey is cringy as hell. Oh, really? Like, he's awkward. Yeah. Yeah, super awkward. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. So, so well, are you, do you plan on playing Val, Valhalla? I'm going to wait. Okay. I'll wait. I'm going to wait a while. Um, I'm honestly, this is something we can kind of talk about. Um, cause I mean, we didn't, I f- totally forgot about this. Um, there's rumors going around about Ubisoft plus making its way into game pass. And then Sega next week is making a big announcement and everybody keeps joking and hoping that it's going to be a, a, a actual Sega game announcement. They're like, please just give us a Sonic game. Cause you know, everybody is not down for Xbox getting all these acquisitions, mm-hmm. and um, a lot of people also think it might be a Sega. Listen, I don't know. I don't um, as a Sony fanboy, I guess you could say, I don't see no problem with it um, because once again, you, you got to remember we live in this er- this fast paced era, so you can have all the games you want. At, at, at anyone's disposal, that doesn't mean they're gonna play. One. You may have it and not touch one game, and right. it happens. But at the same time, it's there right. for you. FOMO, we talk about yep. FOMO all the time. FOMO is a real thing. Some people don't understand it, but FOMO is a real thing, and it, and it affects everyone differently. So, because some some people may get it and sit it down and never touch it. I personally. Love the fact that uh, at first, because I did question it at first. I'm not gonna front. I used to compare it to what I, I used to compare it to Stadia all the time. But with mm-hmm. Xbox getting everything that they're getting, and it's like I, I'm personally over the whole. It's too too good to be true. Right now, I'm like, oh, that's cool. Let them get it. Yeah. So hopefully, hopefully, it is. I don't want another Sonic game. Like I don't. I don't know. For me, I'm over games like that. I, I need, you know, give me something new, like something in this. Oh, you probably hear my son going crazy, but <laughs> it's all good. Yeah. Hey, no, but I'm I'm over like not over, but it's hard for me to enjoy platformers anymore. Yeah. Like I I really I I can't think of the last real real deal platformer that I've played. Um, you need- and actually wanted to beat. You know what makes it? Uh, it's hard to 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 get into too. Now that my my child is getting into video games, she don't even enjoy those. So, so, so how do I look like? Oh, you know, let me show you how to play. Do do do. I'm playing, and she like, can I play Let's Dragon go Ball? Collect the coins. <laughs> yeah. Can I and, play um, Minecraft? I'm not against. Yeah, I'm not against platformers. I just feel like I don't get my bang for my buck anymore yeah. out of them. Mm-hmm. Um, like even even when I started, when I think back on it, like uh, the Jack and Dexter series, I Ooh. really enjoyed Jack Three. Jack Three was dope, dope. with the whole Dark Jack and mm-hmm. all that. Um, you know, but I, I remember there being an RPG element to the Jack and Dexter series because you got to uh, upgrade your gear. If I'm not mistaken, with your weapons. Um, sure. I feel like your guns you got to upgrade. Um, uh, don't quote me on it. Let me know if I'm wrong, yeah. chat. But um, I remember there always being something extra. And then for me, my gaming background wasn't very platformer heavy. Like, I I enjoyed uh, Super Mario. Um, I enjoyed old school uh, Zelda. Like, um, Have you you ever beat a Mario? A Link to the Past. And No, I never beat any of the Marios. I never beat a Mario. Play them. I played. I played all the. Um, I played most of them. I've never beat a only, Mario. Only only Mario's I haven't played were the RPG ones. I never played any of the Mar- RPG Mario's, so I've never, which I heard are actually really good RPG games. I've never beat a Mario legitly, because I I remember my first time ever getting a, a Game Shark, 
I'll beat every game. <laughs> every game I'll beat. But I've never beat a Mario legitly. And um, it was because I just never was... I, I kind of got to take a break. Like, you, I get the whole, like... I underst- Mario was the first game I understood that games have patterns. Like, games like these have patterns. And as long as you figure out the pattern, you know what to do. Uh, Mario, Sonic, Sonic the Hedgehog uh, 2... The games like those were the ones that put that, that that showed me that. But after a while, it gets super repetitive. And then it also gets like, it, it, it's not, it doesn't keep me intrigued because it's not as competitive. So when I started playing sports games, that was a different aspect because I could play against people. You know, there, there's not the same thing over and over again. And then, because, and then that's another thing too. My gaming journey began with began with platformers which I, I think a lot of people would say that's that's kind of tr- a lot oh, of people yeah. are at our like age the old was, sega games exactly yeah 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 Yeah, you know contra like i didn't start off yeah i didn't start off with like uh breath of fire and uh um fi- old school final fantasy mm-hmm. or final fantasy 6 which is really like three or something like that yeah. like i didn't start off with a lot of these games i didn't play these games until i was older um and even like I I played a lot of arcade beat 'em ups like Streets of Rage, Ooh, uh, the Ninja even Turtle even Fighters, one. yeah, oh, the Simpsons, yeah. Um, like you know I man I remember going through large amounts of quarters playing these games. I mm. remember wanting to go to Castle Park just to go to the arcade because they had the Simpsons machine. Um, I used to the it's Simpsons. Funny. So, the, so at actual arcade box games, those were the games you started off playing. Um, in terms of uh, beat 'em ups, yeah. yeah. So, our my first like arcade experience was there was a liquor store around the corner from my high school, uh, junior high, and I used to ditch school. Sorry, mama, <clears throat> but I used to ditch school, jump the gate, ditch school. And go over there and play uh, uh, Super Street Fighters. That's all I used to do. Mm. And I used to be in there for a majority of the part trying to figure out how to play. Because I'm not at home. There was no like guidebooks. You don't know all the combos and buttons and all of that. So when I tell you, I spent all my my lunch money on trying to figure out uh, Ken's combo. And that's where Ken became my favorite character. Was what, Got you. Was playing that. So... Um, yeah, in a sense, that's kind of where my gaming journey began. And then from there, it got to like Pokemon and then a majority of it after that was sports. And then from sports, I I would actually say my true gaming journey began with Fallout 3. Like I I can go as far as saying Mm. that because that's when it was like, I'm gonna buy my own system. I'm I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy my own controllers. Like I'm going to actually full nose dive into a video game and do everything I possibly can to beat this game. Whereas everything else after that wasn't I wasn't really trying to accomplish anything. Yeah. So. It, it's it's a trip, man. Like even um even like I trip out I wanna say the Xbox One uh no I'm lying because the PlayStation three is the first console I bought with my own uh, mm-hmm. Like my own money, and it's funny enough because I remember uh, getting in trouble because I spent uh, I won a scholarship and I ended up spending the scholarship on my PlayStation Three because uh, how expensive that bad boy was. Uh-huh. Um, but um, but no, it, it just it's it's such a trip when I think about all the games I played, and it was they all had some type of RPG, like the ones I can think of. Even the Grand Theft Auto that I enjoyed the most had heavy RPG elements. Yeah. And that was GTA San Andreas. San Andreas had super RPG elements. You had to work out. Mm-hmm. You had to, depending on how much you rode the bike, is how well you rode the bike. Um, you're, if you didn't eat enough food, you would lose weight. Or if you ate too much, you, you literally had to take care of yourself. Like that, yeah, that was a real heavy RPG experience that, funny enough, a lot of people don't bring up when they talk about uh talk about that game um and which is i I was a little butthurt that um i feel like that was something that got heavily left in the past and then the gang mechanics 
Yeah. I ain't gonna lie, that was so much fun. That was one of the turf you wars and whatnot. Walking down yeah. the street. <laughs> hey, come here. And another uh, man, you in the wrong neighborhood. Yep. Just run up on you, beat you that, up. Hey. Yeah. Bro, that was some of the dopest. That was one of the dopest things. And the only other place I I felt that same that similar mechanic was in the Warriors. The mm. which I'm gonna be real. I either need a Warriors two, um, uh, or I need a full blown modern day Red Dead Redemption style remake because that game, man, the brutality of it. And then you'd be chilling in your neighborhood, and all of a sudden, oh, the Moon Riders are coming into your neighborhood. And you gotta go uh, beat him up and hold it down, bro. Bro, what you if be they RPG one guy? that game. Oh, it's like, over. oh, you're good. Oh, it's <laughs> over. It's over. It's like, over. oh, this dude is better at fighting, but this dude is better at tagging, uh-huh. and this guy's better at breaking out of locks. Like, oh man, and then you would just get cracked over the head. You'd be fighting somebody, and then somebody will run up and just knock you. Bam, uh-huh. and it, it just. Or the cops would uh, lock you up, and you could, like, break out, and then you could, like, go and run from the cops and then come back and break your, your friends out. Bro, it was a, it was ridiculous. I got a question. In the in Grand Theft Auto V, could you get arrested? I don't remember. If, I don't know if I you can. I remember it being, like, just a... Yeah, like, the cops... Uh, the co- Like, if you don't resist... Which I did. I think like if you just leave it standing still long enough, you'll get arrested. Okay, because I remember. I it's remember not in always three, death. I remember in three that if you did that, because like remember once you got taken to jail, they took all your guns. They took all your guns. And you I wonder, to... do you lose all your guns? It's been a minute since I played GTA Five. Yeah, um, I'm not I mean, sure. It's about... not like it's been almost eight years now, but you know, no, nobody's counting. Mm-hmm. Um, I just. <laughs> a whole uh, <laughs> Bro, if this no, we're not gonna talk about that. We're not gonna do that. We're <laughs> nah, not, nah, we're we, not gonna let's do that. let's yeah, let's let it let let let, let last week let die it, down let, a bit. Let, let, we'll let GTA six, you know, information come out some more and then we'll talk about it. Bro, bro I, I look just, at you turning red, he fuming. <laughs> bro, I, I can't he fuming. Why? Nope, nope. So what new games have you heard of? Like, uh, I know, uh, what new games are you looking forward to this year? Like, uh, is there anything this year that's just like, oh, I can't wait? Um, you know what? Since the last time we had this conversation, it hasn't changed, to be honest. Uh, to or, or actually, it has. So, uh, earlier we were talking about Pokemon. Now, this hasn't been 100% confirmed yet, but... They are talking about the Sinnoh remakes, the the Diamond and Pearl. I am excited for this because this was, this was, I I believe you said this too. This was like the true last Pokemon game where I actually dove into it, beat everything with it. I remember buying the DS, beating the game, and then trading the DS and the game in. I don't know why I did that, but I did. And, um... I did have a lot of... I did enjoy that game. So imagine this on the Nintendo Switch. Same city, same Pokemon, which I, I did enjoy the, the 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 ones that they gave us, the new ones they gave us in, in, in the fourth gen. But they're, I, I'm more excited for the events. I'm more excited for... To, to be honest, those are what's what makes me excited too about the whole franchise is the fact that they give out these legendaries, these mythicals, these shinies, these special types of of uh things via Wi-Fi events and stuff like that. And I'm excited to see what they do with that, especially bringing it I would assume they would try to make it look as much as what we have now with Sword and Shield just with you know this that region. I don't, I'm going to be real with you, man. I don't like the the 3D design for Pokémon. Yeah. Now I'm I'm nostalgic and yeah. I'm I'm and when it comes to Pokémon I'm old. Um, I like the sprite, the pixelated sprite. Like that, I know you can't keep a game like that forever, mm-hmm. but I, I just, I don't know. I just shit. Why like not? Why you? Shot. Why not? Yeah, you right. Hey, I don't, I don't even like the Marvel versus Capcom, like Infinite, the three D. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Style, I'm, I'm Street good. Fighter. 
honestly, with fighters, that's why I used to really like, uh, even though I never really played him, but like King of Fighters and like uh, Blaze Blue, even mm-hmm. though they did the whole 3D style, but they still had that heavy cell shading. Yeah. Like, I like I like that that flat style. I, I love the look. I feel like it, maybe it, I think it takes more. Yeah. Um, like art style wise. And I, I don't know, I'm not an artist and I don't do 3D rendering or anything like that. So I don't know. But I just I just feel like there's more in the hand drawn uh art style. Just like I prefer like nineties uh anime. Yeah. Like the Cowboy Bebops, the like I, I love those style of anime. It just looks better to me. Mm-hmm. Um it looks more detailed, looks uh not even necessarily realistic. It just has a different look. And like Street Fighter Alpha Three, one of the best looking the Street best. Fighters in my opinion. Marvel versus Capcom, uh, uh, Capcom versus SNK. Like I love these art styles. Mm-hmm. I I prefer those rather than, except with Mortal Kombat. I like the newer design with Mortal Kombat. Yeah, Mortal- but when it comes to the Street Fighter and stuff, I don't like it. But Mortal Kombat can't do any wrong. Like they, they just can't because they sure. just they stay true to what they are. And it's funny you brought that up because they. they um, that you know that that style and that grit that gore, you know, it's gonna always be what it is. They just need to st- be creative, keep being creative on how yeah. much gore they can show, what they can show, how they can do it. But that that that's a good point to bring up. Yeah, I mean, you know, I don't. I think that some games can live like that, live off that 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 nostalgic look. It's just a company will will have to take a chance on it. And I, I know we in this era of like updated graphic, 4K, 8K, and 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 that is a big selling point for some people. The reason why for me, the reason why I'm not bothered by that much because graphics doesn't dictate, you know, if I'm gonna play the game or not. You know, it really True. doesn't because if the not game for me either. if the game is good, it's good. Like it being Period. good and looking good. The looking good part, I can, I can live. I mean, come on, we we played, you know, we we played the old God of Wars, like, you know, I, I, we played some ugly looking games. <laughs> Bro, most Nintendo sixty four games and PlayStation one games, you, did you know, not age well. Yeah, like they did not age well at all. Like if you go back and play. Forearms look like rectangles. Yeah. Uh, fists look like squares. Red, go it look looks at like raw polygons. Red Fraction 2 on a PlayStation 2. Yeah, it looks look. bad. <laughs> it looks bad their as Their faces, faces are smeared over a shape. Yeah, exactly, and yeah. Uh, and like, or even GoldenEye. Go look at GoldenEye. GoldenEye, it's yeah, bad. that's another one. It looks bad. But you but... know what's funny? For the, for the life of me, if I would have never seen the actual gameplay... You couldn't have told me what, like I, I thought it was the realest thing on earth. Yeah, we all oh, everybody did. Oh, look, it looks so bro, realistic. Even or, look uh, at the Ocarina detail. of Time, <laughs> bro. Ocarina of Time, like yeah. going back and looking at not the remake, like the original. I'm like, I played that and mm-hmm. I knew what was going on, mm-hmm. and you couldn't tell me that it wasn't the most beautiful, open, like grand world. And I'm like, look at the, like you said, look at the detail. It's crazy to think. And it's funny how the only games that hold their artistic value are pixelated games and cell shaded. Like, mm-hmm. like they hold like the fact that Street Fighter Three, Street Fighter Three Alpha still looks damn good. Mm-hmm. To right this there. day, I turn it on. To this day, Marvel vs. Capcom, Marvel vs. Capcom Two, these games look amazing. To this day, yeah, booted up on whatever console you want, PlayStation X, you boot it up on. Um, on uh, Dreamcast, whatever console you want, it looks so damn good. good and it holds its value. Yeah, and that's and that's what's trippy. So, trip on this. So, somebody in the um, I was streaming the other night and somebody asked me, shout out to Flamesor, he asked me, What do I think needs to happen? Like, what's the next step in revolutionizing gaming? And I, um, I didn't realize he was asking for something more simplistic, Mm -hmm. but you know me, I went, I went all the way Uh and funny enough outside of full dive technology. Cause in my opinion, that's the, that's the pinnacle where I put on a headset and lay down in my bed and I 90% of me believes I'm in the game. Yeah. Like that's, I think that's the, the full final frontier with gaming. Um, 
like that's like us living in different planets and traveling in different galaxies like when we get to that technology with gaming mm-hmm. that's that's the pinnacle i don't think you get higher than that um without like living in a game yeah literally living in a game like just checking out now um but something that i believe can be tangible and i'll ask you what you think that i think it can be tangible right now that's easily done is some type of real life fitness aspect into building your uh, base character for a game. So um, whether it's something like, um, hey, here's a wristband that comes with the game, plug in the USB, and they have you do a certain amount of things. Mm-hmm. Like, I need you to run in place for, uh, for a minute. What you can do, we'll check your heart rate, how you do. Uh, here's Do as many push-ups as you can in 30 seconds. Like, something simple. Yeah. Like, nothing, nothing outlandish. And then you add that, that would create your base character Ooh, in was, the game. I was just about to say, is that what you get into? Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. and that's the point I'm getting to. And yeah. I think that's something that can be integrated that would add a whole new element to the game. And it would it would be dope for streaming. It would be dope across the board mm-hmm. uh, for content creating, for just immersion. Like, it, it would be, you put in all your stats, you put in your weight, this and that, and then you work out, you do... The workout would be, I'm thinking, five minutes max. Like, mm-hmm. it really wouldn't take much to figure out where you're at. No. And then the game would have a general, like, based on what numbers it catches from you, and boom, your character. Um, I, and then your stats would be based on that. Uh-huh. And then, of course, then it turns into a real game from there. Yeah. Like, then it just turns into a video game. Like, okay. if you want your character to go lose weight or whatever, da 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 you mm-hmm. can do all that. But I don't think that's a far-off thing that can happen. No. Like, that doesn't seem too far-fetched at all now where you would get a a little tweak it a little more make it a little more interesting is every so often like whenever you level up you gotta do another test retest and then that's like really how your character advances then you can make it a healthy gaming like because i know for me like if you told me like just straight out like hey um the only way your character gonna get better is you get better what oh i'm about to be great (laughs) <laughs> we about to be like, great. Imagine what you see nowadays. What people do. One second. Okay. Or I'm or gonna, so gonna, everybody in the chat. Just e- imagine when you're when you see pe- what people do now again. What people do now in video gaming is when they do not have to exert any physical uh, energy towards it. They people literally game twenty four hours where it's literally just muscle yeah. memory, fingers, yeah. and eyes and hand eye coordination. That's it. So imagine, yeah. and then imagine the type of content that could come from that. Literally, you're telling me if I want my character in this game to be good, I need to be good. So I need to be good at life. Like, I really need to be good. I need yeah. to be good with these fists, yeah. with these feet. I got, oh, I need to be able to run a mile in this. Oh, I think a lot of people would conquer that. And it wouldn't be. It would. I don't think that's outlandish as well as well because you're you're kind of teetering that when you look at like w- what we did, you know. You're kind of teetering it with what you see with with uh, with VR that we have. Uh, uh, I yeah. just I think that the game has to match it though, right? So when when you yes, like when you talking about this, I, instantly everybody should have thought of like Ready Player One, right? And I've always yes. thought like, hey, listen, that type of game is the game where that that game right there is the game that was seeing it. Now, it I don't think it has to go. It, it doesn't have to go fully in depth to where it's like, oh, uh, I put this gear on and then I'm in the game. But imagine if it was like the game was like that, where it was you're immersed in this world and can do so many different activities in this world and the characters, your character is specifically based off of what you can actually do in real life. Yeah. I would yeah. be great. I'm going to be the Hulk. I'm a, I'm literally, I'm shutting everything down. I'm literally eating right. I'm working out good. And it, it sucks hey. that, you know, yeah, it, it would take that for me to get right. But nah, like who we... But, but, I want to be good, Bro, and we play enough video games to know what people would do, what they wouldn't do to make it happen in a video game. So, um, yeah, I think the game, the most important part, the game has to be good. The game has to yes. be 
good. I think of, like when I look at like just imagine, just think of Ready Player One. You could race in there. You could first person shoot in there. They had its own economy in there, and I I love games like that. I don't excuse me. I don't know why, but I get a kick out of games that have a economy inside of the game, where you can I can actually, you know, pay this person to do this thing, or this person can pay me to do this thing for them, or we can pay to trade or put money on top of something mm -hmm. to trade for an item that. World is what we're all waiting for. I think a lot of us. Yeah, are waiting we're waiting for, for yeah something like that. But like I, on a on a smaller scale, though, to be able to do it like that, to where okay, cool, this fitness test dictates your character, right, for this amount of levels, and then, and then you got another test come. Oh, people gonna be prepping. People gonna be prepared. I'm not level. I'm not getting to level twenty until I can run a mile in five forty five. <laughs> Bro, this is this is what I'm saying, mm -hmm. and it's so funny because that's just one aspect of it. What if it was based on your mathematics skills? Mm -hmm. What if you know you could? What if you could take it like, oh, you had to complete a puzzle, even if you didn't make it too complicated, like yeah. it was something on, because uh, you know, just because you know math don't mean you're smart. Well, like, maybe you're just good at math. Mm -hmm. So, like, maybe it's a. Uh, some type of weird IQ thing where it's like solve this puzzle, yeah, and or finish this in less than ten steps, mm -hmm. and you know stuff like that because then now that determines your intelligence, yeah. Uh, like it, it just, bro, it would be really interesting, and uh, and the reason I even say all this because once again, it's just a way of moving gaming forward, mm -hmm. and I think that is a very plausible way to move gaming forward. And it would simply be a, um, in my eyes, a USB heart rate monitor integration. Yeah. Like, and that would of, kind of be like a of Fitbit watch. connection. Yeah. yeah. Like a Fitbit type situation that connects directly to the game. Mm -hmm. And you, you Bluetooth it in. I don't think it's that hard. But like, I, I really don't imagine. I don't know. But I just, just based on what I've seen with gaming. Hell, if you you can bring VR home, like why can't I have? Yeah, I was just about to say, right? like that just nothing sounds un that doesn't sound unusual at all. People do it now. <laughs> People do it now, literally. Like you literally can put a helmet on and go work out. You literally can put a helmet on. Yeah. Now, now it's not that it hasn't. I don't think it's gotten to a point where it's taking the form that we're talking about. But if Let's just say 75% of that is already done. Why not? Why can't a grain be created? I just don't think no one has done it yet. And if they have, I haven't seen it. Let me say let me say that. Yeah, I haven't seen you it. Know? But you remember you, you remember when they were trying to do like pain vest? Uh I think they they came out. I remember them like Rumble Vest. Okay. They had them yeah. back, I want to say on like the Nintendo, mm -hmm. like Super Nintendo. Um or like even Sega, like I remember there was a thing where they were trying to make it to where like you truly felt what was going on. Yeah, um, that was a, you know, that's movement forward. You know, haptic suits, haptic feedback. Mm -hmm. We we're getting it. We got it in our controllers. So now you know the next step is a vest. Uh, but I I think plausibly adding in a integrate like a slowly but surely integration into the game. Because that, in my opinion, graphically, I don't know what that next, like, graphic leap. Because mm -hmm. our eyes can only see so much. Of course. Um, you know, you ask a, you ask somebody who wasn't really around video games, and you have them come over and watch you run 2K21 on a PlayStation 5 on your 4K TV. A lot of, I've seen people mistake it for a real game. Yeah. Um, like I don't even have a top tier TV like that, and my dad has said, like, "Oh, I thought you was watching a game. Yeah. Like, I didn't know you was, like, Playing you know." Game. And that was with an older game on an older TV mm -hmm. on an older console. So I can only imagine, you know, what ten years from now, what the what the tech is gonna look like. Yeah, um, maybe the sweat is just gonna get glossier. I don't know. Yeah. Um, but that. I, and I think I think that'll be a huge selling point for some. I just know for like hardcore gamers, it wouldn't be. But with it, with with something like that, turn on motion blur. Yeah, 
I do. Every time I every every game I play, I yeah. turn it off. You know, but I think I, I, I don't know anybody who actively runs with motion blur. People who don't know better. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, what Thanks. I was about to say is that um yeah I, I would for sure look past a bad looking game if it was built the way we're talking about built the way it should be built for this type of progression in in video games. You know what I'm saying? Like obviously there's a limit. Like you're not gonna give me Pokemon Yellow and and with the with what we're talking about. You know what I'm saying? Like it, there's a limit to it, but I, I also understand that it's a lot that comes into it. And you can't sometimes sometimes you can't have your cake and eat it too at the same time. So True. I get it. I get it. I just would want, like I said, a great game. If the game You know what would be dope? What? I'm so sorry. Bro, augmented reality as it like but more detailed. So we we already have Pokemon Go. Mm-hmm. Imagine Pokemon Go but as in the way the commercial sells Pokemon Go. Yes. Not what Pokemon Go actually is. Yeah. Like imagine you legit put on like your HoloLens or your Google glasses that came that existed for like a week. Um, but imagine it's like, yo, we go into the park and the park is now a dungeon and you just put on your glasses and it's just an augmented, like it is like an open area and it just integrates what's there. But then yeah. like, oh, we got to go clear the zombies at the, at the park, y'all. Uh-huh. Like who's down? And you got people out there with glasses on swinging, uh, <laughs> swinging their phones and shit around like, bro, yeah. that. In my, but th- once again, that's a that's the other side of what I was talking about with your skill based leveling within game. Yeah. What I'm talking about, what I originally talked about, would be the in home version, but the augmented reality one, which I could see that tech getting around, mm-hmm. like, but then you, I could see it being a big problem too. Like, hey, you're going 50 miles an hour, you shouldn't. The game <laughs> automatically turns off. Yeah, yeah. Like, like yeah, like, like, like there's a um, limit to this. <laughs> Yeah, there there has to be, mm-hmm. but I'm I'm because t- we already have GPS RPG games. We have those mm-hmm. Pokemon Go. You said Pokemon, um, yeah. I played one where it's a hard. Yeah, I played one where it's a hardcore RPG, but it's a um it's a GPS one. So it looks like Pokemon Go, and like different like stores, real life stores are like in in game stores where you can buy like certain items and loot and like your rank up your gear and. It's actually really fun. Uh, I forgot what it's not Pixel Quest. I forgot what it's called, but it, it's it's pretty dope when you're tired of uh, Pokemon Go. Um, it's it's a dope difference. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then different areas have higher ranked monsters and this and that. Um, but yeah, I'm rambling. What would yeah, be think... what would be that like th- that thing? Like what what do you think within reach within the next like two three years? This generation, what what is that thing you think can happen? I, I, without saying Ready Player One, <laughs> without yeah with, yeah without without saying Ready Player One, because I think we're like twenty years off from that. Yeah, because because I, I think the biggest issue with that is like uh, battery, heat heat sink and battery. I think yeah. that's our biggest issue when it comes to and data transfer, because that's all it is: mm-hmm. speed, speed and heat. So we can find a way. Because think about what they do with those supercomputer challenges. Yeah. Where they're sitting there pouring liquid nitrogen <laughs> and fans and run and overclocking. The overclocking challenges. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, like, oh, we could get this many whatevers. Um, and then data tra- data transfer. Like, you know, what are we going to be walking around with SSDs in our phones? Like, I don't, you know, like, I don't know. I, but I'm, I'm, I don't know, though. With, with it. I can see it getting to a point where it's like you don't even have to leave like almost what we have now with certain games where as long as you have an internet connection and you can log into it, you can connect to it. You know, so like, all right, cool. I have created my account. I've created my... um, So I have an account. I've created it and all I have is whatever device, whether it's phone, whatever, but you have a setup. You have to be able to have this set up and you get into it just like Ready Player One. I, without saying that, I couldn't tell you anything else. 
you know, without without saying, oh yeah, real Pokemon. Like, <laughs> like what else can you, you can't right. really, you know, you, you can't really think of anything outside of that. Um, I so I would have to revert back into what you were saying, like literally a little watch, little Fitbit thing, like like you like you brought up that you know in RPG format where you can based off of your physical capabilities at this point at this moment it gives you it creates your character um, or gives the stats the basic stats of your character and then as you progress you can you know almost like a trial you call it like a trial yeah you know yeah. like so trial 1 is like this is what you got your trial your next trial is after 20 levels you hit the 20 level your next trial and then like you either progress or you can based off of what you you know you yeah. can drop stats um you know somebody would try to get to the point of maxing out their character you know and yeah. i'm talking about in all categories so if you mean to so oh i got to run a mile in 3 minutes <laughs> i got to be able to do a thousand pushups one go no stopping like somebody will try that and i don't i i think that uh you know that is kind of the next wave. It's just somebody hasn't executed it yet. And when they do, the world is it just you thought if if you thought Pokemon Go was that was nuts. That is gonna be crazy. You're gonna see so many people. Bro, jogging. I was getting up for work. I was getting up for work like two hours early just to go <laughs> okay. to a shopping center that had a gym and two stores, mm-hmm. two Pokemon stops. Yeah. Poke stops. And I would just walk the loop. And about time I finished, so I was exercising, mm-hmm. walking my egg, hatching my eggs, and gathering uh, Pokeballs and rations mm-hmm. and all it is. Yeah, berries. all before work. And then I'd get in the car, and it, bro, mm-hmm. it was it was nuts. It we, was nuts what Pokemon Go was doing. You know what we used to do? Me, the wife, and my daughter, we would literally on one of my days off, hop in the car and drive to a location and just sit in the car. <laughs> Catch a mad Pokemon doing different stuff like oh it says it says this this one's over here oh all right cool turn the car on drive to the area we literally did that you know and yep. that was yep I, you know even that is like normalized today like oh yeah people do that but you know when it obviously when it came out it was like you did what you wasted gas no see I didn't waste anything yeah I caught I, yeah I enjoyed myself <laughs> Ex- exactly so. Uh, yeah, I can't think of and anything. I like, I like that the Pokemon were like region based too. Like you would catch a bunch of water type at a lake, at like yes. a park with a lot of water. Mm-hmm. Um, and it, it would go to if you want a desert, you had to be in a desert type. Like I like that. Yeah. I wish it was even more stricter than that. Like I wish you had to get to like some exotic place mm-hmm. to catch an exotic type. Like you had to go to a top. Like you had to go to your tallest mountain within your. Your your city, yeah. In order to to catch a legendary mm-hmm. or certain flying types, like I that I wanted it to be even crazy, something like that. And yeah, like because that was imagine, like the only way to get a Mewtwo is to get near Area Fifty One. Like you got to get near it. <laughs> you like, got to get close like to it. Miles. Yeah, yeah. Like just yeah, like that would be extreme as hell, crazy as hell. But then again, this is what I imagine is the next steps mm-hmm. to progress. To progress this stuff, and man. they did, like I, I really, I feel like it has to become more integrated with our day to day. They also did a great job of making it safe. You know, like realizing that yes, once you did. were going to a certain speed, you, they shut it down. You know, or yeah, you, you can't even you, use it if you dictate. If they detected that you were in the car, they would shut it down. So that that type of stuff yep. is the things I'm t- I'm thinking about. Like, I, that would be a dream. Like as a like as like a kid, like imagine have being able to catch like a real life like like Pokemon. Like, Bro, could you imagine if Pokemon Go came out when we were younger? It's over. That would have been wild. It, it would have been over. That would have been wild, bro. Was you want to talk about a healthy generation? <laughs> like it. We'd it, all been out it, there it, playing it, linebacker. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I'm telling you, everybody got their phones on them during practice. Mm-hmm. Like, like, oh, they say it's a like got the app open and running. <laughs> like, everybody getting in trouble on purpose to go run laps. Uh-huh. Like, oh man, I'm, I'm telling you, it Bruh. was, 
it was it was really a trip. Like what I would during my lunch breaks, I would take different routes, like walk different routes, or get mm-hmm. in the car with my coworkers. It's funny. We'd That's funny, ain't loops. it? And like, yeah, it was it was weird. It was an experience that I'm happy I got to enjoy. Yeah, like because it it's died down. People still run it, but it's nowhere where it used to be. Oh yeah, like I remember we'd go downtown. And there was full downtown meetups, mm-hmm. and th- there'd be other people out there selling water. They had booths, uh, people were out there selling merch. Um, like it, it was, it was real, dude. Yeah. And I know we get into that time, um, and I'm tired as hell. So, yeah. uh, like, I, I'm, I'm done. I'm happy too. we did this. Yeah, I'm, I'm cool too. It, it brought I'm up, done. brought up some good points. I, I that is a, something I would have to sit and think about some more. Like, what's next? Without saying new console, yeah. without saying Ready Player One, what is that thing that's gonna send gaming? You know, and not just gaming. even graphics, because that's easy. Yeah, like in my opinion, that's the easy thing to do mm-hmm. to make games now look like cinematics. Yeah, you know, because remember, we used to be at a point where the cinematic and then the game would go to blocks, mm-hmm. and then or the game <laughs> yeah. would look close, and then it, it was we would we'd have that but now we're in a point now where games smooth transition from cinematics to gameplay into straight like into uncharted it. 4 mm-hmm. like it just you you talk and da 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 and then the camera will pan and then the game's going you, like you, gears of war um like the, these games are really doing you know it. what game has kind of stood the test of time and if you ever get a chance to play it you have to play it regardless of what you see me do to it was uh metal gear solid 4 guns of patriot like that is a beautiful game, and I didn't realize and how it still looks good. How amazing that game looked on PlayStation Three component cables, not even HDMI component cables, big fat back TV. That game looks yeah. amazing. I, I yeah, just you're right. I just was watching somebody I'm stream. I wonder if they will remaster it or. or is it even ported for PC? I don't, I don't even think they ported it to PC. No, I don't think so. I think it's still uh, um, only on uh, PlayStation. And th- what I was about to say, the the one particular mission I was looking at was the snow one, where uh, mm. you're you're fighting the 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 chick that turns into like a jaguar, like, bruh, that. Mission looked amazing with all of the snow and yeah. So you, you kind of without saying graphics, I don't know. Like uh, I, I would have to say it would be like the RPG physical, you know, thing like that. I don't even know what you would call it. Like, but that would be next up because it's yeah. It don't sound too. Integration. It don't sound too way off. Like it don't sound like way no. over the top. Mm-mm. Yeah. If Destiny can get away with uh, wiping out all your equipment that you earned, um, I think uh, what do they call it? Sunsetting. So I have about those. Get how about with... those? How about those Lakers? Those... <laughs> 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 nah, it, you're right. I mean that th- we should we should that should be its own conversation one day too because it is uh, Destiny's in a weird spot. They're ir- they're irrit- they're angering people. They're angering a lot of gamers and. Um, that, that's that's its own little time block, and I'm a, and I can go on and on about it all day. So, damn, bro, Metal Gear Solid Four came out in 2008. That's crazy, it huh? Still looks good. That's crazy, huh? And it still looks good. Like I'm, even just the still images, bro. And that what, looks damn. I like was... the hair, the hair alone. That's where a lot of games mess up. Is hair. Mm-hmm. And this game looks pretty, man. It looked dope. I I I didn't expect it to look so good. Still, you know, ah man, you you gotta play it. if you ever get a chance to play it. Like I'm thinking of going on a straight binger one day and just playing sh- all mm. the Metal Gears again. Cause still my favorite one is two. Man, well outside of four, mm. uh, four is kind of yeah, but Metal Gear Solid Two was man. My my favorite. Um, I, a lot of people would shun you for that because it's funny because I enjoyed Metal Gear Solid 2 as well because mm-hmm. that game actually looks pretty damn good as well yeah. like if we're being real mm-hmm. that game looks really good uh, Kojima games really hold up visually yeah. the newer past Metal Gear Solid 1 because of course obviously um, that was just that PlayStation uh, yeah uh, PlayStation 3D games 
Snack fight popping up like this. Yeah. Like, arr, arr, arr. And then you see like the, the, the thick smoke. <laughs> Cigarette look like a rectangle. Yeah. Um, but uh like <laughs> but the games hold up, man. Mm-hmm. Uh visually, uh Snake Eater was a lot of fun. And you know why I like Snake Eater, the RPG element. Bruh. Um like oh I'ma shut up. But I think Mortal Kombat could benefit from like limb damage and dismemberment within the get well, within game. Mm. It would suck for tournament wise. It would actually absolutely be trash for like tourneys because like the I can see something being meta. Yeah. yeah, like I could see like oh the first thing to do in a match is to grab an item and throw it to damage their leg. Yeah, like like that I could see being real stupid. Got a little limp to him. <laughs> yeah, but I I think that would be a dope like arcade mode mm-hmm. like just call it like gruesome mode or something or reality mode or something and it's just like bro i cracked your ribs you can't breathe that well yeah so your stamina well, so your combo you can't do certain combos or, or your, your stamina doesn't get up to a certain point yeah, yeah. And like no i think once again i'm talking about advancing and moving and it's funny because in my opinion outside of graphically advancing but gameplay and mechanic wise Anything that needs to change, it needs to oddly enough become a little more real. So you like, in okay. my opinion. So, so you would play. This is going to be my last question. So you would play VR Fallout Three. Think about it, because you just said like limb that limb damage was in that game, and that's the only reason why I thought about yes, that. Because remember, when you would zoom out the third person, if you got hit by a death claw and you survived, you was limping. You'd be freaking yeah, yeah, you, yeah, you was limping, moving up, yeah, here, yeah. So, uh, or Bro, you would be dope, or when you when you carry too much stuff in your pack, you would limp. You know, you yep. you, you would you, you, you start would walking sh- funny, yeah. exactly. So, or when you got drunk in the game, yep. You would be, yep. be all over the place. So, if you had the opportunity for VR mode from main story, because I know how you can get with the side quests and all this extra stuff, I would. would you would see? I would too. I It'd would be, too. It would I, be scary as hell, but I and would. I, I chose that game because what did I say? I said it has to. The game has to be good, and I'm talking. Bro, it would be would, really scary. Bruh, can you imagine going into blowing up Nuketown then going back? In VR, Bro, or even when you first come across a, a death claw or, or a ghoul, like you go into the game the, the would tunnels. actually be kind of scary, man. Because think about this would be my last point because we keep saying that, and then I'm gonna finally send us off. Um, think about how much the game changed of running Grand Theft Auto 5 first person. Mm-hmm. Fallout was a great game to watch people play on Twitch, yeah. I agree, yeah. Big time, man. especially real, on real. PC because of the mods. The mods, yeah. The mods in Fallout Three were just amazing. Like um, Fallout Four, I'm not gonna really speak on it. Uh, it kind of disappointed me much, but Fallout Three's mods was dope. The game was dope. They they even created mods for the DLCs. Like man, it, it was just kind of that game is is a special game, and that's why I chose that game to ask that question because. When you sit and you think about it, that would be the game I would want to play. Full dive. V- I could get a dog. I could kill monsters. I could Bro, build it'd guns. It would be scary as shit. Right. That would be a scary ass game. <laughs> like, I'm not- are, like, Bro, are you minding your business walking through the waste and all of a sudden like a group of raiders just trying to rob you? <laughs> like I'm I'm telling you, man. You don't it, want freak look. me out. And this is playing with a controller. You'd be just, you know, running on, doing your thing, and then all of a all of a sudden you hear, uh, 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 you're getting tagged. <laughs> somebody yep. somebody Beat shooting down. you from afar or beating you up. It's and you just... hear you hear the gun. Poop, 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 poop. Like, <laughs> yeah. bro, it was oh man. Oh, dude. Man. But that, even that, those Meyer lurks, Meyer, uh, freaking, oh, the freaking mutants. Mm-hmm, the mutants. Remember the Invisible Mutants? Oh, bro, See? like, yeah, man. Or, well, I think the Invisible Mutants was Fallout New Vegas. I think that was New Vegas. Yeah, it was probably the New Invisible Vegas. Movie. Which I didn't play New Vegas. I watched yeah. it. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, bro. Even Zelda would be kind of creepy. But folks. That's it. I am exhausted. I don't know how we made it this far. Um, I'm, I'm, 
like I did my best. I'm sitting here. I got tape over my eyelids. Um, Close to it. I I had fun, man. I'm glad we did this. I believe we're on episode, what is it, 75 or 74? 74. 74. Mm-hmm. Folks, thank you so much for hanging out with us. And much love if you're listening to this on Spotify or Apple Music or Spreaker, wherever you're hearing us, YouTube. Just thank you so much. Please make sure to follow us. Please, please, please make sure to show some love and follow uh, Tone Deaf Network to the family. Big Brother's watching over us. Uh, make sure to show them love and support. Plenty of shows there. Mm-hmm. Um, Level One Gaming. Uh, I'm the communication director over there, so I got to put some communication out for them. And um, just our individual YouTube channels. We got yep. a lot of stuff got where you lot. can deal with us. Um, a lot. Lot. And um, I'm Baron J67. I'm T Jones. Peace. And peace.